fact, 1994, no, 1998, I did a vigil for one year, 365 days. I fasted one year, 365 days. I was praying 10 to 5. November, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Johnson, my prophet, even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. He said, I will bless you beyond your dream. That's what God told me in the midst of a fast. 1998. Sir, 1999 was the toughest year of my life. Welcome, my cherry viewers, to UK channel. This is a place where we strike the inspiring form, sending the area of your spiritual life, your moral life, and your financial life. In this video, the Apostle Johnson Suleiman, PhD, explained that 1999 was his toughest year. He explained how his dad was one of the richest people in the country. He explained how he grew up from a rich woman when God called him. God made him pass through a very tough time and that is what made him stronger. He stated that whatever you have lost is not God. And he also said that the end of a day is not the end of your story. I don't know what you are going through, but make sure that you don't give up because if you give up, you will never go up. Winners never quit and quitters never win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and watch your full video next to this one. He said, we have received good from God. Why should we feel bad when we receive evil? There have been good times. Why should I feel uncomfortable when I go through bad times? I have seen the mercy of God. He gave me a child. He kept me alive. How come just because of this temporal scarcity, I turn my back on him? There have been good times, sir. God, there you, you know, how many of you know that sometimes uh, when you are asleep, there is a battle for your life. There are forces that say, no, he can't rise up. But God says, no, he must stand up. There is a battle, a contention for your life. And God keeps you. God preserves you. Is that the God you want to live? was sick and he died and jesus was very emphatic his disciples said let's go pray for him he said don't worry the sickness is not unto death though this sickness can't kill him yet he died jesus the son of god in whom there is no lie said this sickness won't take this man yet the man died Many of you, if Jesus was your pastor, that would be the end of service. <laughs> you say you are the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by you. You emphatically said, in fact, I was in that Sunday service, 9.30 a.m. When you said that this sickness will not take him, and yet he died. And you say you are the truth and the life. You say you are not a man to lie. You said this sickness is not unto death. And yet he died, sir. God cannot lie. It's only you that don't understand. You gave a prophetic word that I shall be settled. How come I am not settled? You gave a prophetic word I'll be blessed. How come I am not blessed? God is not a man to lie. In 1 Samuel 15, 29, he said the strength of Israel will not lie. In Numbers 29, 23, 13, 19, he said God is not a man for him to lie, nor the son of man for him to repent. The Bible says in Titus chapter 1 and verse 2, God cannot lie. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, I am the Lord, I change it not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob and Lazarus, this sickness is not unto death, yet he died. Why? What you call death does not exist in eternity. What you call death, what you call the end does not exist in eternity because he is the end. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. So you, death is the end, but he is the end. So when you think this is over, God says, no, what you call end, behind every end there is a bend. Behind what you call the end, there is a bend. This is not the end. So your present state is not your final status. This is not the end. Listen, 
I understand you've been through so much. I understand you've been through haywire. You've been through high mountain. But heaven says this is not the end. Amen. This is not the end. Amen. Heaven is going to turn things around. Amen. God will show up for your sake. Amen. God will show up for your family. Amen. God will show up for your business. Amen. God will show up for your home. Amen. The sickness is not unto death. Yet he died. I'm saying that to some of you who have gotten prophetic words, prophetic declaration, and you waited. What is going on? In fact, 1994, no, 1998, I did a vigil for one year, 365 days. I fasted one year, 365 days. I was praying 10 to 5. November, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Johnson, my prophet, even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. He said, I will bless you beyond your dream. That's what God told me in the midst of a fast. 1998. Sir, 1999 was the toughest year of my life. I was too scared to ask him how far. Sometimes when I'm worried and I want to ask questions, the way the Holy Ghost just comes, he says, you are worried about this. I, say, I love you, not, not, not really. <laughs> but you told me I'm going to be blessed. But it is well. It is well. I believe you. I love you. I love you. I love you. But I sit back and I'm asking. It was terrible. Sir, you have no idea. It was terrible. 1999 is one year I wish could be edited. Sir, I gave like never before. I fought it. You may not understand. I wasn't born into poverty. That's the truth. I wasn't born into poverty. I was born into wealth. We had 11 cooks. Stewards. 11. So I wasn't born into poverty. I, my, my dad had, had um, a factory. And they used to bring money. We count the money. I was in... Is it elementary they call it here? Yeah? primary school five when i bought a teacher a car from my father's money it's elementary right not legitimate money the one i no all things are passed away all things are passed away as we are counting we are counting we are counting <laughs> I'm trying to let you know we took that kind of money and the man was not aware not aware at all you sit back and you point the car you want to take you to school you do so I wasn't so God knew with this kind of training this one is useless if I don't make him go through things make him thank you that was it wasn't strange. The name Job was not strange to the devil. Because the devil analyzed him. If the devil didn't knew Job, when Jesus, when God talked about Job, Satan would have asked, who is Job? He said, have you considered my servant Job? He said, oh, does he fear you for nothing? You have blessed the work of his hand. You build the edge. That edge, Satan is an idiot. That edge of defense. He was out to pluck out Job. But anytime he came, there was this edge. There was this protective shield and seal around Job. Am I communicating? There was this seal around Job. He said, he said, have you considered? In other words, I know Job. The Bible said, despite all Job went through, he never charged God foolishly. Job had five bad news in one day. English is understanding, right? English is not grammar. English is understanding. Job had five bad newses. <laughs> five in one day this guy was sitting and now look at look at let me analyze the news they said to him that your children we are in their elder brother's house having a celebration and fire came from heaven not hell from heaven as though god sent the fire in other words, what you are going through now has heaven's endorsement. That was wrong. 
because it's the thief that comes to steal and kill god does not do that god will not do that it's the thief that come to steal kill and destroy but he said i am come that they, i like that the thief come it i am come so the thief came i also came the thief came and i came fire from heaven his investment gone everything gone in one day and the bible says, yeah job did not charge god foolishly somebody said to me god job went through a lot of things lost everything affliction sickness everything came and god did not take his wife i said no because the wife too was an affliction god didn't even talk to her because she was enough problem to herself there's nothing to take from her. <laughs> she was enough problem. Yes, she was problem on her. So God didn't even bother. Say this one. No need to attack her. She's already gone. Already gone. Already gone. Looking at your husband in the face and say, Cause God and die. Because you not know the Jewish custom. You cannot remarry when your spouse is still around. So when he was going through all that, the wife already had somebody. You, you, <laughs> say you are my problem. Can you just go? <laughs> you, <laughs> you are, just, just exit so that we can, I can move on with my life. And Job was not actually a nice person. Because in his sixth state, he had a bad mouth. Very sharp mouth. Because arrogant people should be replied arrogantly. Cause God and died. Job was sick, yet he said, you speak like a foolish woman. <laughs> if a man could say that in his sickly state, just imagine if he was okay. That woman would have had it hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> say, you speak, you speak like a foolish woman. But there was something he said. Thank you for watching the video to this fire for ending. You are a champion, holy champions. Start and finish. I have a book for in the description tied to the process of service. This book will explain to you how to serve your way to the top. There is always a reward for the servants of God. Get this book from Amazon or send the money to the mobile money number in the description and I'll forward the soft copy to you wherever you find yourself. Always remember that winners never quit and quitters never win. Yes. Okay. He said, we have received good from God. Why should we feel bad when we receive evil? There have been good times. Why should I feel uncomfortable when I go through bad times? I have seen the mercy of God. He gave me a child. He kept me alive. How come just because of this temporal scarcity, I turn my back on him? There have been good times, sir. God, there you, you know, how many of you know that sometimes uh, when you are asleep, there is a battle for your life. There are forces that say, no, he can't rise up. But God says, no, he must stand up. There is a to a contention for your life and god keeps you god preserves you is that a god you want to live oh no is that the god you want to turn your back on your faith is on that question your faith is on that attack please take your seats let me round up